SOAP UI is a test automation framework used by the delivery to test uh, SOAP APIs and web services. <laughs> Since there's a need uh, to reuse previous uh, test automation script and uh, test cases from previous test phases, we developed a new Ginger action to support project XML execution. <clears throat> SOAP UI project XML execution. This action can be configured along with all other Ginger actions, and this is how we are integrating SOAP UI execution within the Ginger uh, end to end flow. So, this is our diagram. Here we can see the existing uh, project XML uh, saved by the SOAP UI. We are loading it into the Ginger, then we are manipulating the field and uh, validate the input, po populating the input properties, uh, then we send it to the SOAP UI test runner. This one is executing it and generate the output values. And then Ginger knows how to read the output values and uh, we can store them into the variables in order to use it later on or we can validate them, anything that uh, the user wants to do. So I'll demonstrate it for you. Okay, this is a web services uh, platform. I will map the agent. Or maybe I'll start with the agent. Uh, this is our agent. Here we can, <coughs> we need to configure the SOAP UI uh, installation directory. <coughs> this is a prerequisite to use this uh, action. So you need to, to have a SOAP UI installed on your machine. <coughs> and here you are configuring the directory. Also here, uh, you need to configure the directory which all the reports will go to. Also you can put uh, uh, the, where you want the XML to be copied. So I'll go to the business flow and I'll add a new action. I'll select the SOAP UI wrapper action. And here we are loading the project XML. This is a real XML of MPS project. So I'll show you this also in SOAP UI. This is the SOAP UI software. Here we can see all the test cases. And you can save this uh, project in XML format. Then you are loading it here and this one will be copied also to the solution folder. So if you <coughs> uh, copy this uh, solution folder to your, to your colleague, you'll be able to execute it because you have the file there also. And if I'll open this basic expander, I will be able to select the uh, test in suit. I will select the customer profile management. And the test case I want to execute is uh, create individual customer profile for contact. And <clears throat> I do want to configure test case properties. So I'll check this checkbox. And here we can see all the variables, uh, all the properties. Uh, been took from from the XML. So what I want to do now is I want to replace the contact ID with some specific value and the individual ID. Once this action will be executed, all these variables will be overwritten by the variables I'm putting here. Last thing I want to do here is to add some project uh, property. This one is to override the host mentioned in the file. So basically, you have <coughs> all the abilities uh, which you had already in SOAP UI. You have it here. Um, you can override the, the endpoint and populate the username, password, and domain, and also set the, the uh, setting XML. OK, this is enough. I can run this action now. I need to map the agent. Okay, now what is being done is going to the uh, SOAP UI test runner on the back end and executing it with all the properties and input values I placed here. That's all. It's passed. <clears throat> if you go to the run details, you can see all the execution log here. I'll come in back and we have this button, open execution output directory. Here we can see all the logs and text files created by the test, the SOAP UI test runner. And also 
I can see here on the output values all the important values that I need maybe to validate or store it into a variable. I can do it from here. So here we can see the <coughs> request, respond, XML, the properties, and I can see uh, the created customer account ID, uh, account build spec, spec ID, etc. Here, what you have in the end, here you can select a variable. <coughs> I don't have currently variables here, but if I had variables in this business uh, flow, I can select it here and then it being stored into this variable and then I can use it maybe for the next action to validate this account ID in the database or to maybe go and <clears throat> execute another test case from SOP UI to assign to this customer a, a product. Uh, you can do all, uh, a lot of things uh, using these uh, variables. That's all for uh, SOP UI wrapper.